Yo, what's up my YouTube friends? So today we have a really good question for Ben, my friend Ben. Uh, and I think like a lot of you, I, mean, I was the same way pretty much for the most part. I mean, without really knowing this kid, but uh, I did stalk his Instagram a little bit just to kind of see what, really I was looking on there to see what like kind of pictures he was taking to kind of give me a, a judge rough judge of, you know, what he's into and stuff like that. So anyways, um, he wants to know, the question is, listen, dude, I've always, you know, what kid doesn't want to operate heavy equipment? I'm 17 years old. I'm going into my senior year in high school. Um, I'm interested in going to college as I feel that I should. It sounds like he's genuinely interested in going, going into college. I myself really wasn't. Um, I kind of went to college more just because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So it was sort of a time filler and a gap filler. So, um, so he does seem like he wants to go to college. Seems like a good kid. And this is totally just based off of Instagram pictures. <laughs> but no, he probably is. Um, but he's interested in running heavy equipment. He wants to go down that road. He wants to operate heavy equipment. What do I do, Kyle? Should I go to school for civil engineering? Would that help me in becoming a better equipment operator or and or vice versa? What, you know, what should I do? Should I go work in heavy equipment and I could always go back to school? Um, and I thought about this a little bit last night after I read the read the question and a little bit this morning. And ideally, the, the point blank answer, and I'll probably go into a little bit more detail on it in this video, is I think you should do both. Um, if you have interest in both, do both. Uh, I do think there is a, an, an importance in staying focused and trying to only do keeping your, your you know keeping your eggs in one basket when it's important and it's new and you're just getting started in something but by the sounds of the question and being 17 and I honestly think most 17 year olds don't have a fucking clue what they really want to do I mean they have an interest in sort of things but they're like holy cow there's so much to do in this world like why am I forced to pick out one thing right now and expect it to go do that for the next 40 years and retire on an income that I can barely live on? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, we are in a completely different model of a world of how um, people perceive success, what success is, how much money can be made in a day, all these things, whereas that typical 8 to 5, 9 to 5, 7 to 5, blue collar job, while they're still very important, um, and, and going, you know, going, going and do that grind is a really outdated old mentality of how um, success or, you know, being a successful American person in our wonderful society is. So back to the point, I think you should do both. And here's how you can do both. If you are interested in civil engineering, go register and roll into um, some civil engineering courses at your local community college. Do not, I would unless you have college complete like if you've got a hundred thousand dollars in a college fund that's dedicated for that or your parents are uh, able to pay for your college in full um, I still would go to a community college do not waste that money if your parents have cash or you have cash or some type of funds available for you to go to college do not go to a university and at least for the first two years, go to a community college because you will save a significant amount of money. And that money, it's not about like saving the money to not spend it, but it's about using that money wisely to jump in and test the waters. If you're going to do a test, if you're testing out whether or not you like civil engineering and or you like being an equipment operator better. And really what's gonna pay more, a lot of that depends on one, your skill level that you develop in equipment operating that's huge but then also your location if you're going to be in civil engineering where are you going to work where are you going to live you're going to have to live and work in a large city and i don't know where i think he's in the east coast pennsylvania or something 
um, to make a decent amount of money or a livable amount of money that you're probably still gonna have to have two incomes to support a family on anyway. So, um, you know, there's a lot of variables in that. And because you're so young and you've got, you know, basically 10 years to figure out what the fuck you wanna do with your life, you know, from 20 years old till 30, um, like, dude, you got time. You can go dig in the dirt and learn how to operate equipment until you're 25, decide that you don't like that, and then go back to school for civil engineering because you'd rather design, draw, create, and sign off on projects that you've already, or that, that you've designed in an office somewhere. And, and you would probably be, if you did it that way, if you went and did construction for five years, excavation, underground, civil, road building, that kind of stuff, or even residential, home building, foundations and stuff and then went to school to be a civil engineer you would be like one of the best civil engineers out there because generally I've never had a print I've never had an engineer design that was perfect and worked out exactly as the engineer plan there's always been a change and because you would have that experience in becoming equipment or you know doing construction equipment operating doing all that kind of stuff you would be able to see a project see a job site see a potential you know, an area that was going to be developed and know a lot more than someone who's never run equipment, never really done construction, um, you, you'd have the upper hand with that. So I would say just do both. And the way you can do both, again, right now is go get a job in the summer for an excavation company and just start working your tail off for them. Um, and then in the spring, I mean, it's a little late now. What is it? It's, it's August, so you're you know a month away from starting school again. Um, so it's a little late to maybe do that, but you could probably see if they need help like after school. Like uh, you could go work for a couple weeks full time right now until school starts. Then you could go, and maybe you're into sports. I, I don't know, or maybe you're not, but sports would take that time up too. Um, and sports is another thing too. Like, hey, you know, if you're not super interested in sports and you'd rather go operate heavy equipment, then go tell, you know, your local contracting company, listen, I got three weeks left of summer. I want to come work for you. And then after school, I want to come in and clean the shop or sweep the floor or, you know, all I want to do, I just want to work for two or three hours. And then I want a half an hour on some equipment in the backyard, just playing around on it or, or whatever. Like, if some kid came up to me and said that, I'd be like, okay, like, you're hired, no problem. So if, if someone didn't want to hire you for that, um, I think they'd be shooting themselves in the foot because they could lose out on a potential, like, a really good employee, um, really good team member to bring on their team. So there's that part there. And then, then you go to school, right? And then you go to, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to say. Then you go to, then you register for college, community college, take all your basic bullshit classes at your local college because you're going to pay 10 times more to go to a university. And I just don't think, I mean, kids and people will tell you that like it's an experience and you, you know, you create these relationships and you meet all these people and that's what helps get you successful. Well, your character, you will meet the right people that you need to meet and who you need to run into no matter what. Like, if you're destined to be a professional equipment operator or a civil engineer, like, you're gonna meet the right people. So don't, like, like just don't let people tell you that, like, you have to go to a major university and, like, live that life because it's such an experience. I didn't do that. I really didn't have any, like, interest in going and living in a dorm and bunking up with four other dudes and sharing the same bathroom for two years. That sounded pretty much horrible to me. Like I never really want, I didn't even like, I had one roommate, we lived in an apartment. Now he was my best friend, so it was like tolerable to a point. But the idea of living in a dorm and like not having a car, most, you can't even have a car for your first semester. Like that's just, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like a form of prison to me. But anyways, um, the other, the last thing I would encourage you to do, definitely go get, um, see if you can get a part-time job, whether it's cleaning the shop, like whatever, just go and don't let the first guy tell you no and then call it quits. Like go like right now, five or 10 people you can go find a job for. And I just go do it now. Just go find a job now that you can do that for, even if it's part-time, even if it's coming in on a Saturday, Saturday and, and cleaning the shop or doing something 
but tell them that you want to learn. You're really interested in this and, uh, you know, something like that. So that's the other part, or that's part of the last thing. The other thing, as far as being a civil engineer, go find a civil engineer company. Go find an engineering company in your town and say, hey, I would like to come spend a week, a couple days with, you know, your best or your, you know, one of your civil engineers to just model them and see, like, I'm interested, I think I'm interested in this job, uh, I think it would be really cool, I'm also interested in construction, so I'd like to just go, model, you know, follow them for a day and see what it's like, see if it's something that I really want to pursue, and that's exactly what I would do before I would go um, spend four years, five years in a university, spend whatever, $100,000 in an education that you're going to come out and, you know, get paid starting out $30,000, $35,000 a year. Like, it's just like, it's not, and, and then maybe that, you know, you go through school thinking you're going to like it, and then you get the job and it sucks. Like, how much of a bummer would that be? You'd have $100,000 into it, you'd have, you'd have $100,000 in four years of your time invested into something that now you're like, fuck it, I only want to do it. Like, I'm done with this shit. You know, then you're just like, God damn, I just wasted like, uh, you know, four years and $100,000. That's not fun. You know, we're all gonna waste money, but it's so easy to go out and model or work for companies when you're young, especially when you're young, like a teenager, like 17, 18 years old, and you go in like, it's pretty easy, I would say, if the owners or, you know, the managers have any sense about them, um, they, they'd be sure to hire you up or find something for you to do like once a day or just let, let you come in and model them. So I'd really just go out and explore uh, both things right now for the next year, next two years. Uh, college, as far as that's concerned, I would only recommend going to community college for the first two years for really anybody because you're going to change your major anyways. Most people will seen all my friends do it um and I, I would just do it that way you know unless college is 100 percent funded for some other way with a savings account bank account your parents can afford it grandma gave you the money something like that then go to college and, and it can be paid for um, i think it would be good that way but to go into debt and take out student loans um, i think you're really just adding to the monotony of the, the overall system that i feel is corrupt and broken and kind of a scam anyways so it's a long-winded answer. Uh, I hope it gives some clarity, but I would just say, again, do both. Follow that those ways, and I hope that, uh, I hope that you can gain some insight.